There are people <laughs> waiting for me. I am important now. Good morning. Welcome to our Monday morning Ask Me Anything. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how to prepare for nursing school. Look, oh, wow. I can see my phone on YouTube. Mm. Should we fix that? Let's just readjust you there. There you go. Out of frame. Ha! There you okay. Go. Oh. Hello, right, YouTube. There. Sorry, Instagram. You're like way over here <laughs> right now. Oh, man. All right. This is this is a work in progress, friends. A work in progress. Good morning, everybody. Can you create a video about pharmacodynamics? Says Instagram. Yes, I can. I can well, add it to our <laughs> list. Um, Matthew, can you add that to my list? Add that to the, <laughs> add list. That to the list. I'm not sure if right I can there. spell it. But all right, pharmacodynamics. Pharma. All right, friends and family, let's talk about how to prepare for nursing school because we're in July and then we're coming up on fall. All righty, let's do it. So, the first thing that you absolutely have to do, and this is like priority number one dose calc, you absolutely have to learn dose calc before you start nursing school. Here's why. So dose calc, if you've been in nursing school already, let me know in the chat. Let everybody else know in the chat how important dose calc is. So it's not just me saying this, but dose calc is super important. Because when you start nursing school as a little nursing newbie. Mm, a nursling. A nursling. I really like that, that <laughs> term. If you guys like that term, can you let me know? Because I want to keep it around, nursling. But um, Matthew keeps telling me that it's it's maybe a little bit degrading, but I, I love don't it. know. Yeah, I think I think it's all right. But yeah, I do want to hear from you guys whether you think nursling is a good term or not. For little um, baby nurses. I don't right? know. I, I come from a different background too because um, a little bit more of a gamer oh, gamer background. She loves it. Oh, I love it. All right, awesome <laughs> gamer background, and uh, probably talking to I don't know if there's any other gamers out there, but um, StarCraft uh, there were Zerg and Zerglings. So I'm just talking, talking out there. But uh, so that's whatever I think of when I hear nursling is zerglings. So I don't know um, what that is. Yeah, I know. That's that's okay. Then. I have no clue. <laughs> Probably no, no one else. No so one else. Do you knows, like the term so. nursling? Because I love it. I think it's adorable. I think it's super precious. So if you like the term nursling and we want to keep it, let's vote. Yeah, you can vote. Raise your hand. Definitely. Raise your hand if we're keeping it. Also, hit that like button. Before continuing, YouTube, I changed some sound stuff. So if you guys can still hear me, hear us, uh, can you yeah, let us know in the comments? Because I changed something um, and see whether it's louder or softer or whatnot. So, yeah. You know. All right. So, dose calc, you've got to know dose calc. So, let us know how important dose calc is. If you've been in nursing school for like two seconds, I said, I said, I did five, two seconds. Mm. Dose calc is so important because. Every, pretty much every term, you are going to have a dose calc exam and you have to get 100% on it. If you are in a nursing school and they allow you to get like 90% right, be blessed, my friend. <laughs> you are blessed. <laughs> because many, many nursing schools require you to get 100% correct. We get messages from students all the time. Christina, you have no idea what I'm going through. I have a dose calc exam coming up in a week and we have to get 100%. And I'm like, <laughs> friend... Is I that know. just about everyone else? I know. It's like everyone else, not just you. I promise you, everybody else too. Exactly. So it's so very important. Thank you for agreeing with me, Instagram. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Instagram says they hear you just fine. Oh, Instagram does? Yeah. All right. Perfect. Um, oh, no, one, you. no one mentioned anything in YouTube, but there are comments coming in. So I'm going to just oh, okay. assume that they can hear me. Perfect. Sounds good. I could right check on. on my own, but the headphones are way down there, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go to way down there. So. <laughs> not gonna. Not gonna do the effort. Yeah. Um. So dose calc is so important, and we've got some really great videos on YouTube for it. So if you want to get some help, if you want me to walk you through it step by step, okay. How to ace dose calc? YouTube nursing SOS dose calc. Like search in the search bar. YouTube nursing SOS. YouTube. You don't have to put the YouTube in there on YouTube. <laughs> nursing SOS dose calc or nursing SOS dosage calculations up there on YouTube. Going to be super helpful. If you are a nursing SOS member, log into your dashboard. And we have um, a dose, two dose calc workbooks for you to go through with a bunch of practice questions. So, boom. Awesome. That'll help. Thank you, Brittany. 
I feel better now knowing that we're not talking. To <laughs> Thank you, Brittany. So, too. Perfect. Awesome. <sighs> <sighs> All right. <laughs> As a patient, I wouldn't want a nurse that didn't get 100%. Amen to that, friend. Amen <laughs> to that. If you did not know, I was a patient before I went to nursing school. I did not want to be a nurse ever in my life. <laughs> no A's for effort for that one? No A's for I tried effort. really hard, but I Don't missed go. all of them. <laughs> because you didn't go to nursing <laughs> school? Does that mean that you missed all of them? Does that make you miss all of them if you just don't go to nursing school? That's, think, that's ah, right. Forget about it. <laughs> I was a patient before I went to nursing school and I never wanted to be a nurse. Fun fact, until like I almost died. <laughs> I'm would... a pacemaker, by the way. So heart issues here. And then I decided to go to nursing school. Mm. That was the trigger for me. <laughs> Because everything your parents tell you to do, you don't do. Like, yeah, because didn't you know, your, par your parents were saying. Yeah, my parents were like, oh, Christina, it's a stable career. You don't have to worry, you know, you know, all the things. Like, oh, you should be a nurse. Like, I'm sure everyone tells everyone that they should be a nurse. Because sure. everyone's a nurse, I feel like. Everyone in my life is a nurse, except for you. That's right. You know. I am not. <laughs> now I'm kind of scared. Oh, don't be scared. No, 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 no. Don't be scared about dose calc. Go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. And search Nursing SOS Dose Calc, and I will walk you through it step by step. Don't you even worry, my friend. Do not be scared. Um, the mental analysis is what you want to do, and that is what I walk you through. So easy. Do it. No big deal. Okay, so that's the first thing about how to prepare for nursing school. Learn Dose Calc. Now, the second thing. What do I want to be the second thing? What's the, <laughs> what's the second most important thing? If you have children. If you have children. You need child care, someone to watch your said children while you're in school. But not only do you need child care, you need a backup. And then you need a backup to your backup. Would you agree? I'd say so, yeah. It's you, just need, making you need sure, backup plans. Making sure you have backups. For the kiddos. Because, you know, kids get sick. Can we school? Can we say the word S-A-C-K lately yeah. <laughs> and not think of the Rona? <laughs> it could be okay. other things. It could be other things. There are other things you know, out They could just have like colds and It might stuff. not seem like it, but there are <laughs> other things that can get you sick. Oh, what a world. You know what? You just gotta, you just gotta have a plan. Back up to your back up to your back up to your back up plan for the kids. Because if you have a clinical day, you have to go to clinical right you can't miss a clinical day you know so you can <laughs> people are laughing at me on instagram <laughs> all right i know i'm ridiculous it's the best <laughs> let me just tell you yes you've got to have a backup and you know so many times um i think that's a big thing that stops students from going to nursing school is that they don't have a plan make a plan make a plan for mm -hmm. your kids make a plan for your life go to nursing school and have a plan is very important now, hello, YouTube. We are in the U.S. Yes. Yep. Um, but hello. Hello. <laughs> just like, we just <laughs> wave at everybody online. Hello. Hello, friends. Welcome to Monday. All right. Um, yep. Dose calc. Have a backup plan for your kiddos. Now, tip number three, meal prep. I always say to plan your meals for the first two weeks of the term. So, no matter if you're just starting nursing school or if you've been in nursing school for a while, every new term is different. So like, if, especially, oh my gosh, especially if you go from like fundamentals to med surge, med surge is like psh, totally different. It, you, you, it's just totally different. So you've got a meal prep, like plan out what you're going to do when you get to nursing school, that term, right? It's going to just keep getting harder throughout your program. So it's more and more important to plan. You want to make sure that you can devote as much time and as much energy and as much focus to nursing school, especially in those first few weeks. So I always recommend that you plan your meals, meal prep for the first two weeks of the term. So at least have your meals mm -hmm. planned out for the first two weeks of your term. By the way, do you like my hair? <laughs> it feels a little frizzy today. <laughs> I don't know. It looks good. It looks, it looks nice. Well, thank you. Yes. I, you know, it's so funny because I really actually like how it looks in real life. 
But then I get on video sometimes and I'm like, mm, not doing it for me. <laughs> How's my hair, guys? <laughs> not doing Just it checking. for me. Just checking. I, I don't know. I Does my hair look good on video? Someone tell me. Oh, you look... Thank yeah. you, YouTube. We're so nice. Okay, well, I'm glad. Um, so I don't know. I have a YouTube video to record today. Maybe I will just yeah. Maybe I'll just keep it like this wavy stuff. You know, maybe I'll just keep it this wavy stuff. <laughs> All of my hairs are looking great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Instagram. Yep. Number one, Dose Calc. Number two. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica, for keeping me on track. <laughs> Number one, dose calc. Number two, child care. Have a backup to your backup to your backup. Number three, meal prep. You know what? Okay, I tried this. I don't know if I would recommend it. Do you remember the, oh my, was it over the summer? I think it was over the summer where I was like, I'm going to buy all the food at the grocery store. And I'm going to pack all of the food from the grocery store into Ziploc, ba Ziploc bags and freeze it all for crock pot Yeah, meals. so, so we, <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, four crock pots, at least. Oh, at least. No, yep. no, no. Are we counting crock pots? Yeah. Mm, no, I've got like probably seven of them. Okay. So we have a lot probably of crock pots. And crock pots. When... All of various sizes and for different purposes. So I'm not totally like crazy when christina says oh, like meal prep them. what she means for us anyway what she did was meal prep is using our crock pot so we have yes. them all like lined up and you just kind of dump the food in which is great because you just kind of leave it alone and it slow cooks, it cooks the rest itself. of the day so that is really no great so she was thinking you know what you know. by meal prep what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna buy all the things beforehand stick all the ingredients into ziploc bags and then freeze them all and then whenever we want something, we just get the Ziploc bag and dump it out and wait a couple hours. So I think in theory, it worked. And Perfect it worked, system. It worked pretty well for some of the meals. Some of the meal, it kind of depends on exactly what you're cooking. Yeah. But it, it did work for some of them. Some of them, not so much. If there was like a lot of soup, it got stuck to the Ziploc bags. And <laughs> yeah, that was It was, was messy. hard to open up and things like that. Or some of them, uh, pretty dense ones, it, it was uneven cooking sometimes yeah it didn't so, really work with like the yeah. dump technique yeah. also i think where i really went wrong was some of the meals that i had uh, created in those ziploc bags i had never tried before <laughs> so they weren't so good and i ended up making like five or six of them yeah. so matthew ate those <laughs> so i did not because they were gross. <laughs> so by meal prepping, I mean, not necessarily plan out and cook everything or what you see, um, kind of like portion everything you out. You can totally do it that you way. You can do that if you'd like. Um, you could totally do it. But but really, just make sure you're planning out your meals. Like, what are you going to eat on Wednesday of week two of nursing school? Yeah. You know, that's really the, that. That's okay. I think, and then plan your grocery trips. Like, do your all your grocery shopping for the first two weeks of the term. That would be probably ideal too. So you don't have to like do a grocery trip. I think the main point of that, the main point of planning ahead with childcare and for meal prepping, is that you just want to decrease the things that you're thinking about so that you mm -hmm. can focus on nursing school. Yeah. So the more that you can kind of preset things, automate things, kind of put it on the back burner plan everything out beforehand, the better that you can focus on the things that you need to focus during that time. So I think that's the main thing. Absolutely. Pound it. Boom. On a side note, I did see those memes popping around on, oh, what is meal prep? And they just have a Tupperware and next to them is a giant pizza and they're just putting one slice <laughs> of pizza in each Tupperware and putting a Coke in it. That, I guess technically that's meal prepping. I consider so that's, that that's to fine. be meal prepping. Um, so you can do that Perfect all the way up system. to planning and then cooking and then going all the way to the other side. So somewhere in between. <laughs> Various levels of yes. meal prep from the uh, pizza in a Tupperware container or the blog bag all the way to the fancy Pinterest stuff, which I never do. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> there's such good memes out there. Oh man. Now, was that three? That was three. Jessica? <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. That was, Jessica's the best. That was Thank three. you, right Jessica. There. Number three, number four. Oh, have you made adobo in the crock pot? My husband is Filipino. Hi. Your uh, husband's Filipino. There you go. I, I don't think no. we've made adobo in a crock pot. I make adobo the super, super, super duper easy way. <laughs> I go to my mom's house. 
Because <laughs> I actually don't know how to cook adobo, and she keeps saying it's super easy, and then I never do. So uh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, and but I'm it's almost good. ashamed just... to say that we have been married for a long time. A long time. <laughs> Not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> you say that's a good thing. Um, <laughs> hey, I'm Filipino, bro. You got hey. You got so friends. So I do like. We've I, been married seven years. Yes. And I have never once been a Dobo. Does that make me a terrible wife? So favorite. And I have no. Okay, I have no idea how to cook rice. <laughs> Shameful. <laughs> I have no idea that, how to cook rice. That's fine. Oh, it's all right. Man. Adobo. Sinagong, I'd say, are my probably my my two favorite Filipino dishes. Mm -hmm. So they're good. I yep. like um pancit. Did I say that yeah. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's my favorite. I like the noodles. I know how to cook noodles. Rice is not my specialty, which is so funny because you just like put it in rice in a rice maker with water and just turn it on. We don't have a rice maker though. Uh, we don't have I a rice cooker. Rice. We just do it in the pressure rice cooker. So all right now. The next thing I'm going to talk about, tell me, Jessica, is this four or five? This is four. <laughs> this is four. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, um, do not read ahead if possible. I say if possible, but like, like really don't read ahead. So here's what I did in nursing school. I had my big, big fundamentals book. You know, a month before nursing school, I go through and try to read it all. Like, I got so lost, friends. Like, it's not an efficient use of your study time. It's not an efficient use of your study time um, because you don't know what you don't know and you don't know what your professors are going to focus on when you get to nursing school. You don't know what's important. You don't have the foundational knowledge to read your textbooks. Just don't do it. It's such a waste of time. Personal opinion. If you guys have any other different advice, let me know in the comments. Jessica, you're the best. Seriously, friend. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> So I like Keep that advice. Any advice that allows me not, <sighs> not to read things is good. So I like that. I need to stop drinking coffee. This coffee's going to come out my nose one of these days. <laughs> you crack me up. Okay. Let's take some questions. Actually, right. I have a question here from, mm. the, from the last video. Okay. Someone was asking um, if your professor doesn't... Yeah, can we actually like pull it up there? Because I want to say it like word for word. Oh, what did you want? Just up, 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 because I can't see it here with the bar. Oh, up on here. Yep. Okay. Um, basically asking, what happens if your teacher does not test you, especially? So basically, what she teaches. If your professor doesn't test you on what she teaches, what your professor, if you're not tested on what you're taught in class, what in the world do you do now? The first thing I want to say is that there will always, always, always be questions on your exams that are like totally from left field, completely like you don't even know. Like they're from the footnote on page 1102. And that's just how it is. Like there will always be the case. So don't freak yourself out. If you get to your nursing school exam, you get a question that you have no idea at all what in the world is that saying it's totally fine like don't even worry about it do your best move it right along it does not mean that you're not going to do well on your exam it does not mean that you're not going to do well on the on the next questions it just means that you just don't know that one and that's totally fine so <clears throat> if you get to a question on your exam that you don't know the answer to totally fine move it right along do your best and then just keep going that will always be the case you're always going to get questions on your exam that you that just come out of nowhere. Now, if your professor, if you're if you're finding your exam is like 90% things that you did not talk about in class, like definitely possible, right? Um, four main things that you have to focus on: pathophysiology, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. Those are the four main things that you have to focus on. This goes for med surge, this goes for OB, this go for goes for peds, this goes for fundamentals. This goes for mental health, everything, my friend, everything. Pathophysiology or the physiology, I should note the physiology because in fundamentals, what you're going to focus on more is the physiology for things like fluid and electrolytes, things like that. Um, so physiology or pathophysiology, signs and symptoms of whatever's happening, nursing assessment and nursing interventions. 
Um, those are the four main things you have to focus on for everything you're learning in nursing school. Now, that goes for like things that are, are like critical thinking based. Um, for example, fundamentals, fluids and electrolytes. You have to know those four main things. Um, ABGs, metabolic acidosis, alkalosis, all those things. Um, your basic med surge disorders that you will learn in fundamentals, stroke, diabetes, heart failure, COPD. I learned about COPD in my fundamentals. Maybe you will too. Um, and then when you get to med surge, this is for sure what you have to be focusing on. For sure. Full stop. Like, like that's it. Full stop. Four main things. Patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing intervention. So if you don't feel like your instructor's teaching you in class, everything she's teaching you is not showing up on the exam, those are the four main things that you have to focus on. Now, after your exam, walk into our office, set up an appointment, or do it right then and there, and go through your exam item by item with her. Sit down, have an office meeting, either online or in class, whatever your school is doing these days. Set up a meeting with your instructor, go through your exam item by item so that you know the content for the final, so that you know like why you got questions right and why you got questions wrong. And then it's also going to help you figure out where are they getting questions from? Where in the world are these things coming from? How in the world can I study for it next time? It's gonna help you so, so much. Okay, next question. We did talk about fundamentals in nursing school. I'm gonna skip that one because that was my fundamentals spiel. Focus on those four main things. That will help. In dose calc, make sure that you know your dose calc. Solid, solid, solid. Hello, Billin. Good morning, friends. Good right. morning, Instagram. Good morning, YouTube, everybody that's just joining us. Welcome to Monday. We are talking about, well, we already talked Things. about how to prepare for nursing school. And now let's take some of your questions, shall we? All right. So I'm not sure exactly which mm. ones you want to do. There were a lot that came in this morning. How here, to deal so. with a difficult instructor. Give them grace. We don't be mean to people, right? Don't be mean to people. <laughs> I've seen this so many times. Like people, I don't know. It's just, it's just, don't be mean to your instructors. Come on. Don't be mean to people in general. Don't be mean to people. So how to deal with difficult instructors. Um, give them grace. And uh, talk with them openly. And use facts. Not emotion. That's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, thank you for all. You've helped me and gave me so many tips. I'm uh, almost finished with my second semester. Hooray! I'm so excited for you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Instagram. Uh, Sugar Plum. Congratulations. All right. Good morning. Um, let's do YouTube. Let's find one on YouTube. Um... How do I become a successful nursing professional? Is that really, is that that question? Did I get that right? How to become a, uh, go to nursing school, I guess. That's my, um, okay. Mm -hmm. Might we have some spam comments today? That's exciting. Um, oh, I'm curious. Did you go straight RN or LPN to RN? I was never an LPN. I did not. Um, around here in our area, we only have one LPN school that I'm familiar with. And I think it was being phased out. We actually don't really have a whole lot of LPNs in my area. I know this is different throughout the US, but here it's primarily CNA RN teams is what we have here. So, um, and, and RN programs or, or CNA programs. Uh, so I just did the RN program mm -hmm. and I have a bachelor's in, uh, psych so this was like my, yeah, here's my third degree. Here <laughs> there's there's was my third degree. Pushing more towards the RN bachelor. Yeah. RN route, bachelor. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then, so RN, then RN bachelor and then beyond if, if you would like. Yeah. So that's kind of how we do it around here. Um, how was your third semester? I'm kind of nervous. So, um, this, okay, this is from Instagram. This happens a lot. Students will message us and say like, you know, oh my gosh, I'm so scared about, you know, fourth term or my second semester or whatever. Um, I, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything when you talk to anybody outside of your program, because all programs are different. So can you tell me what your third semester is? What do you study in your third semester? And then I can tell you what it is mm -hmm. because my third semester what was, was beginning med surge because I believe we actually, didn't we do, 
am I getting this wrong? No, I think I'm getting this right. We did peds and OB in second term. So it was kind of flipped. Usually you do those later in your term, but my program did them like right away. So I had fundamentals and then I did peds and OB. And then my third term was basic med surge. And then fourth term was advanced med surge. That one, fourth term for my program, everyone said was the hardest. It's the worst. You're never going to pass. It was my favorite. I loved it. I got an A. No problem. Easy peasy. Easy breezy. I loved it. Med surge, advanced med surge. Man, that was the best. It was hard for sure, but it was the best. Hmm. Let's see. I like that one. This one. Which one? Um, you tell me. Yeah. The two-part question uh, about the membership community, actually. So we'll jump uh, into that. Uh, how many people are in the membership community? And once lots. you get in, is it lifetime or period of time? And if it's period of time, mm -hmm. you can get readmitted. So I think those are all really good questions. Yeah. Um, lots. But I don't know. But lots. Like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Yeah. So our nursing so community cool. it definitely is, is growing. Um, and whenever we open it, it definitely jumps up in sizes. So yeah. it is. Um, you guys are awesome. There are it's a lot. Insane of great people in there and it's a very supportive community and we also have a, a facebook group private facebook group and lots of uh, positive discussions going on there so uh while it is a large community and it keeps growing it also does still have the feel of um really personal connection and smaller group because of our personal connection with you guys and then also the the private facebook group and things like that so yeah. um it's a uh, it's big and it's getting bigger, but we're also pretty personal about it too. Yeah, I never ever wanted, so when we started this, I never ever ever wanted anybody to feel like they were just one person in a sea of nursing students. Absolutely not, that is not what we do here. That is not how we run the membership community. So when you join the membership community, it is like personal interaction. It's like amazing. So via the Facebook group, you can email us anytime. There's, there's things that we do, <laughs> so I'm not going to talk about it, but there are things that we do to help make it super, super personal um, for you. So there, um, I, I never, ever, ever wanted it to feel like um, you were alone in nursing school. Like, that's the whole point, right? Like, you're coming into our community. You're, you're not alone in nursing school anymore. Like, you're... That's why we call it I a community. You. <laughs> I coddle you. It's a community. Yes. Yes. Yep. So that's how that is. Uh, once you get in, are you in there for life or is it a period of time? So we have uh, two membership tracks monthly and then yearly. So if you want to uh, subscribe for a month, totally fine. Um, it's or like month to month. Yeah, you know? that, that is so month, to like month. month to so, month. So uh, every month uh, it just keeps re-upping kind of like, I don't know, whatever, Netflix or something like that. So It's the Netflix it's of the Netflix nursing of school. Nursing school. Yeah. <laughs> or you can pay for a year. <laughs> hey, pins it. Awesome. Okay, we talked about that before. Sorry, guys. Right. I digress. Yes. So a year or month subscription term. Um, and our nursing regulatory body, oh, NRB oh, and we, HHS, Hold on. Sorry. We're not, we're not done. <laughs> we're not done. <laughs> we're not done. Um, and then if you do leave the community, you're, you're always allowed to come back, uh, for the most part. Uh, so yep. yeah. Yeah, so if um, finances are tough or you are going to take a break from nursing school or something like that, uh, you can leave. And then um, when our nursing community opens up again, then you, you can get back. In. So Absolutely. All right, now we're done. Therefore, oh, okay, I see that was the third part of the question. What is a nursing regulatory body? Depends on what country you are in. Um, here we have... <laughs> Kind of several. Um, so it just depends on what country you're in. Uh, NRB, a nursing regulatory body can be anything like, <clears throat> like here in the States, we have something called the NCSBN, which is the regulatory body for nursing schools. Then we have, um, you know, nursing, you know, practice regulations and things like that when you get into nursing practice. So, you know, there's that. There's a couple different, depends on the country you're in. Let's see. Um, hello, good morning, Instagram. And I love how everybody's out. You guys are awesome. Can you say, oh, peds and OB. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. So P's and OB, I believe that that's what you were saying is that that's what your third term was. Um, my third semester. So that would be my second for P's and OB is, uh, fine. You know, those are, you know, P's and OB. We have a few videos on YouTube on pediatrics. We have a whole section a on, on OB. On YouTube? Oh, no, no. No, in the membership community, oh, yeah. we yeah. have OB. We have an OB yeah. course in the membership community. On YouTube, we have a few peds videos. So check those out on YouTube. Um, Nursing SOS, pediatrics. I hope that helps. I love being a member. Welcome, friend. I'm so glad you're a member. <laughs> yes, it's the best. I'm so glad that you are a Nursing SOS member. Um, just real quick, uh, uh -huh. someone said that they didn't see a month to month. It was either three months or a year. So probably that was not us. We've never done a three, three done month a at a time. time. So I just put in the, the link to join the wait list because we're currently closed right now. So you, you can't even join right now if, if you wanted to. So be sure to get on that wait list. Mm -hmm. And next time it pops up, then you'll see those two options, either month to month or a year. Yep, absolutely. Um, oh, perfect. Okay, I'm just going back. Okay, ATI. We've got a couple questions on ATI, right? On YouTube? Uh, not so much on YouTube today. Okay, maybe not. I've got, I feel like I've gotten a couple on Instagram. So let's talk about ATI. So um, for your ATI or HUSI programs, the number one thing that you absolutely have to do and make sure that you do is to re read the rationales. Do practice questions and read the rationales. Friends, you absolutely have to do those practice tests, practice questions. That is not busy work. Do not consider that to be busy work. Do the practice questions as many as you can, and then read the rationales. You have to know why you're getting the question right or why you're getting the question wrong. So important. Then you'll know for your exams how they test, what they're looking for in their answers, and then you'll understand the content better. Three things. Super helpful. Okay, let me scroll back. You can scroll on YouTube. I don't know. I'm just trying to find questions. You look fabulous. Oh, thank you. You guys are so nice. I love you. <sighs> Great. Um, oh, another membership from Jessica. Uh, do you keep content if you leave membership temporarily? Temporarily. So when you do leave, it saves kind of how, how far you are because it does um, give you tracking on <laughs> how far you are in each of the videos that are in the membership community. So when you do come back, all that is saved and you just jumped in right where you were. Mm-hmm. Um... Hi there. I am <coughs> excuse me. Still having trouble in pharmacology to link the medication with the patient diagnosis. Still having trouble in pharmacology to link the patient medication to the patient diagnosis. Okay, I'm just saying that again because I'm trying to think about it. So um that's not if you're like trying to study pharmacology by linking the medication with the particular diagnosis, like I guess that's fine, um, but that's not what I teach. So the way that I teach pharmacology is to learn the mechanism of action of a drug class. Learn the mechanism of action of the drug class, and then you will know the mechanism of action of the medications within that drug class. And then, if you guys have been around here, bro, you've heard my spiel about pharmacology. The mechanism of action is how the drug acts in the body. And when you know that, then you will be able to critically think more about the side effects of the medication, the nursing assessment that you'll do for that medication, the nursing considerations and interventions, right? Like if you're giving a beta blocker, which is a blood pressure, heart rate medication, it's a cardiac medication. So like a patient diagnosis, you know, is something cardiac related beta blocker, but a beta blocker is you're going to need to assess their blood pressure and their heart rate for sure, because it's a blood pressure medication, right? But you have to understand what that drug does in the first place. How does a beta blocker respond in the body? Then you're gonna understand more of the side effects. Hypotension, right? So a side effect is this decrease in blood pressure because it's a blood pressure medication. And then your nursing assessment will follow through that. Obviously you're gonna wanna assess their blood pressure and their heart rate. You see how it all connects back together? So that is how we do that. So I don't necessarily teach or really recommend that you study pharmacology based on a patient diagnosis because patient diagnoses are going to change like for every patient, right? If you're learning medications for heart failure, 
you know, certain medications are going to come up, but then there's also going to be other medications that might be used for something else and could be used for heart, you know, it just gets kind of messy. Mechanism of action. That's what you're going to want to study. MOA. 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 As we called it. As we called it. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Um, um, Paul, not exactly sure what you're, you're talking about with, uh, doing discussions on the memberships. Um, so if you can elaborate and on what that. And what to expect. Yeah. Are you are you like wanting to know like what to expect as a member, or what to expect in the membership community? Um, just clarify for us. Anything on YouTube um, I want to answer? Not too, too many questions, You guys actually. are the best. Wow. Uh, Look at all you go this morning. I think we answered a lot of your questions. Um, med search difference between about med surge and other nursing i don't know that's kind of a typo okay Jaden, can you explain your question clarify i don't know what you're saying on youtube yeah, so um here. we just started our online class here in the philippines whoop, whoop, um and we're taking pharmacology and nutrition uh yeah so pharmacology those uh will help you a ton those tips definitely learn the mechanism of action first also if you need more pharmacology videos head on over to youtube Type in Nursing SOS Pharmacology, Nursing SOS Pharmacology, and that'll do it for you. Oh, there you go, Jaden. ER Nursing. Oh, ER Nursing. Um, well, okay. So ER Nursing is going to be more acute med surge, but still, I mean, you're still dealing with patients that come in and have, like, mega disorders, right? Like, it's just more critical. <laughs> like, it's, it's just, it's, it's. I would say it's the same thing. I am not an ER nurse, so someone might disagree <laughs> with me. But that is my understanding of it. Yeah. All right. Acute nursing, It's but it's med surge. You know, it's like, I mean, heart failure is heart failure is heart failure, whether it's like acute heart failure patient who's currently dying from heart failure, or they're on a less acute med surge floor and, you know, we're managing their heart failure that they're not currently dying from do i want to say the word <laughs> dying on youtube <laughs> i don't know it's hard because like youtube doesn't really like those like words sometimes you eh, know whatever. like anytime we talk about medications actually this is so funny this is so funny so we have um some really good pharmacology videos like i talked about up on youtube so if you type in nursing sos pharmacology you will find those but we did a pharmacology video a few months ago and it was like, um, you know, how to study pharmacology or like how to study particular medications or how to learn your medications. And then um, one of the YouTube searches that people were searching for to find that video is how to make drugs. We do not like, make drugs nor condone making drugs <laughs> in your bathtub or sink or bathroom but at all. But apparently YouTube thought we were talking about making drugs. We do not condone that. <laughs> we don't do Again, that here. We do not condone making so drugs. So funny. We are not um, the Breaking Bad of nursing <laughs> school, so please do not. Yeah, please do not um, do that. Yeah. And the more you say that word, the more YouTube doesn't like us. So, you know. Okay. The, the more we say the word M-E-D or D-R-U-G-S, YouTube doesn't like Does it. Does YouTube know how to spell? That's the other <laughs> question. So, so it doesn't even so. matter. Whatever. YouTube's going to like not like us. Hey, Jessica, thanks <sighs> for saying that we're awesome. And a blessing. <laughs> and a blessing. Thanks. You're the best, Jessica. Uh, Jessica, <laughs> love you. Um, oh, man. Paul, what to expect in the membership. So, yeah, it's a step-by-step -step guide through nursing school with... A bunch of different courses, really quick video snippets of uh, different topics. Yep. <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you <laughs> like how I teach on YouTube and you wish there were more videos on YouTube, a step by step guide on YouTube, congratulations, there is. And it's called the Nursing SOS Membership Community, but it's not on YouTube. So if you like how I teach on YouTube, you are going to love the Nursing SOS membership community because it's basically all the videos you've ever wanted for nursing school in one place with me teaching it, which is pretty great. So how we do it kind of, um, each video really takes us about 10 hours of our team's time from research to writing the transcript to all the things. Um, and then we make sure that it's the information you need for nursing school. You don't have like Arrhenius, is that the right word? Arrhenius? 
I don't know. I don't know words, words. <laughs> um, you know, there's not a whole lot of fluff. There, like, there's no fluff, right? It's what you need to know in one condensed video with me teaching it to you. Now, here's really my value add. Here's what I'm super, super good at teaching. So I have a gift. I can say that. I mean, it's not like, it's not like, like, this is just like, <laughs> like God has given me the gift of teaching. I can break down a super difficult subject into very simple terms for you to understand step by step. So if you find our YouTube videos helpful and you learn best that way, and you like how I teach the membership community is for you. Um, that's how that works. <laughs> um, and then <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, uh, Paul, it's amazing. Do not hesitate. Get on the wait list. Thank you, friend. I and love our members. Also, you guys are the best. Side note. Uh, we are slowly as we get them done. Like Christina says, um, takes, takes quite a bit of time to get each of the videos done, but we are working on releasing a pharmacology course and a MED database on <laughs> DRUGSs that we cannot or say those words yeah say those too. anymore here on <laughs> Y-O-U-T-U-B. -E. Um, so yeah that's another reason for the membership community is that we can add things oh, that man. the algorithms might not like so um, yeah. yeah so we are releasing those things there so uh, that's another reason for the membership community as well yeah so we have that database coming so if you guys want to learn are we really gonna spell it out all the time? If you wanna learn your MEDSs, because we have a toddler, so we know how to spell around here, um, then we have a full database for those coming for you. Um, we're releasing more every week, super, super fun. Um, do you guarantee passing the NCLEX when you're in the nursing community? So the Nursing SOS membership community is for nursing school, so we don't really focus as much on the NCLEX right now. Um, but we do guarantee you pass nursing school. So if you do not pass nursing school, you can like, you can check out our full terms and conditions and stuff. But like, if you don't pass nursing school, you get a refund. It's like, we have our 100% pass guarantee, which is I think pretty great. So if you don't pass nursing school, like, like it's genuinely no risk <laughs> to you, right? Like you join, if you don't pass, then you just get your money back. So Come on. Come on. another pretty question great. is, is there a app? for your phone or something there there is currently not a dedicated app but if you open it in your web browser it is mobile friendly and then phones out there you can most of the time pin it or add it to your your home page yes. like a link to go straight there that's so, what i do uh it's basically what they call a, a web app or something yep. like that so any advice for how to see fundamentals by the way jessica you're my favorite person ever thanks love jessica you. love you <laughs> any <laughs> advice for how to see fundamentals um Yes. So I talked about HESI and ATI already. I will recap again. Make sure that you answer the practice questions. I already talked about this this morning, right? I yeah, think, I think yeah. so. Um, answer the practice questions as much as possible and then read the rationales. You've got to know, like spend time reading the rationales. That's, that's what it is. Like, don't, don't skip the rationales. Do the practice tests, read the rationales. So important. Please heed that advice because so many nursing students don't then you don't do well on your exam. <laughs> That's that. All right. Um, um, uh, ooh, that's a good question. Um, we have been doing online classes, including labs and clinical since March. How much of a disadvantage would you say we would be in upon graduation when, see when seeking for an RN job, say in hospitals? I think right now is a great time to become a nurse because I'm think hospitals are just eating you up right now. That's what I've heard. <laughs> so, you know, um, I don't think it's a disadvantage to graduate right now because the NCLEX are shorter. Oh yeah. And yeah. You, you were mentioning the NCLEX that. So, is shorter, so can friends, you explain that? Like if you graduate now, I don't know how long they're going to be doing this for, but that's what I heard is the NCLEX is shorter now. So if you graduate and take the NCLEX like yesterday, today, maybe, um, they're just shorter. So that's pretty great. Right. And then, um, you know, the hospitals really need you. Like if you want to become a nurse, now's the time. So don't let that stop you. Um, a lot of the mindset stuff around clinical, like I totally get, I totally get that having patient interaction on the floor is so important and so valuable for your nursing school experience, but I don't want 
you to stop yourself and hold yourself back by thinking that you're not going to be a good enough nurse on the floor because everyone graduates not knowing anything. Everyone graduates with the same like lack of confidence, <laughs> you know? So you're not expected to know everything in nursing school. You're not expected to know everything your first year as a nurse. You know, you will learn. You will continue to learn all throughout your nursing career. It never stops. So that's my advice for that. Do not let it stop you. It's just a thought in your brain. Let it be there and move it right along and keep doing your best. That's it. I do like that. I think, yeah, really important to note that it, it is a mindset thing yeah. at that point in time. And uh, everyone has has those mind mindsets and have to have that shift no matter where whether you had all the in in person contact or not or um did all the classes or not or did really well in classes or not uh everyone just has their different mindsets and it's just getting past those so uh everyone's unique and everyone's in the same boat so just kind of get past that mindset and you're gonna do great absolutely do your best that's all you can do um oops <laughs> open the membership doors <laughs> soon please um you want to do one more i think this one's <laughs> this one's a good one uh do you take notes and study do you rewrite the notes into one thing with everything together to study um I'm talking about that. so how do you take notes and study do i have my okay i'm gonna grab a piece of paper over here so when i take notes here's what i do guys I print off three slides for PowerPoints. So um, if your professor gives you PowerPoints to like PowerPoint slides for class, what I do, I'm gonna draw my paper, print it off, three slides. Yes. I don't know how the So, so video if you is. go into PowerPoint or whatever, there's uh, when you go to print, you can print it out as uh, slides with notes or something. And usually it does three slides. Three slides on one side. Lines here for notes. Lines on the other side. What I would do, here's my exact note taking process in nursing school. What I would do when I go to class or online now, if you do your lecture online, it's totally fine, same thing. Print off your slides, one, two, three slides on one side with the note section on the other. I think it's called like notes taking mm -hmm. or note taking three slides. something on if PowerPoint. If you do need more space to write, there's also like a one slide per page. Um, slide can, up here. You can do that too. Notes on the bottom. That's not what I did. But three slides on one side, notes. If you need more space, that's a good way to do it. Um, but when I went to class, whether your class is online or in class, I would use like a black pen, one color pen for lecture class. And then I would take notes on whatever the instructor wrote or uh, what the instructor said in class on the lines. I would stick on the lines for what the professor said in class. And then when I got home, all the space around all those notes and on the back. I would only print out um, my slides on one side of the page so I had all the back to write. I would go to my textbooks and I would write in a different colored pen the notes of things that we talked about in class. I wouldn't read other sections of the book, only focus on the sections of the book that you talked about in class. That was my process. So I know one color pen on the lines, like black pen is what the professor said in class everything around the periphery of those notes and on the back in a different color pen, say it was pink or purple or whatever, that came from the textbook. So this is really important um, because your professors teach in class what they believe is to be the most important. And what they believe is the most important thing for you to know is what they're going to teach you on and what really the NCLEX is going to teach you on and things like that. Um, because there are really some foundational things in nursing school that you have to know. That's what they're going to teach you on. And so when your professor says something in class, you want to know and write it down what they say in class. So you have to know what they said versus what you read in the textbook and you will prioritize studying what they said in class. Now here's a huge caveat to this that I don't talk about very often only when someone brings it up. Um, but it's a really great question. If you find something conflicting between what your professor talks about in class and what you read in the textbook, go with the textbook on the exam. If you don't have enough time to verify it with your instructor, go with the textbook because, this is so important you guys, go with the textbook because that is backup. You can physically bring in your textbook to your instructor and say, that's what the textbook says, that's what I went with, and they should give you points back for that if you get it wrong.
Like if they said something different in class, but your textbook said something different and you didn't have enough time to talk to them about it or get clarity on it, go with the textbook because that is actual physical evidence that you can present to your instructor afterwards. Do you agree? I do agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is definitely solid advice. Definitely good advice because yep. it's there. Oh, you, I got can, right you, can, you can, you can bring it up. Um, yeah. So awesome. Present it to them. Yes. Yep. There you go. Okay. Um, I think that's... Yeah, so I know that there's a lot of questions and we don't want to go too much longer here for today. Sorry, guys. Um, we have a really busy day today. But... Really busy day. We I have will a YouTube be, video to record after this. Yeah, we will be um, going live again on... We love you too. Wed Wednesday. On hump okay. day. Wednesday. Is the next time we're going to... We're gonna the go. Camel. Huh? Nay. The um, camel. So uh, we're gonna post uh, <gasps> on YouTube anyway the schedule. Schedule it up. So be sure to uh, go there and yeah. ask your questions there beforehand. You can go there before we're even live and post questions, and we'll see them. That is so, so so cool, you guys. So okay, so on Wednesday live. We will be right here again on Wednesday at nine a.m. Pacific Standard Time. What is that? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve p.m. Eastern, and. I will post that video up today. So it will be like on our YouTube page. You can go in and ask your questions in the chat, like before we go live, which is super cool. So like ask your questions in the chat before we go live. And um, I'm going to do the member, the member thing. The, oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, by Wednesday, it should be. Yeah, should okay. Be and if you are a member, do not post your questions Jessica, there in the chat. And there's a couple of other you guys out there. So, I saw you guys. Yeah, we know your members. If you are a Nursing SOS member, do not post in that chat. Because what we're going to do is we are going to send out um, a... A form of some for, sort. A form of some sort. We haven't quite figured it out yet. A form of some sort for our members to ask their questions, and you will get priority. So... Nursing SOS members, if you are a Nursing SOS member, check your, check your, check the Facebook group, mm -hmm. and um, we will have that form there for you um, to to fill out for um, you know for Wednesday. So I'll make sure to prioritize your questions on Wednesday, uh, so we make sure to get our member questions answered. But if you are not a Nursing SOS member, totally fine. Um, post in the live chat on YouTube before the video goes up uh, before we go live on Wednesday. Is Sound that good? clear? Does that make sense? Yeah. So okay. Cool. YouTube, we're gonna schedule it. Post questions there. If you're a member, watch out because we're going to add a form on Facebook group or, or somewhere so that you yep. guys can put your questions there. Um, so we'll answer membership first, and then uh, other questions for um, next, and then yep. obviously since we are live, um, like we did today, just go through and talk to you guys and yay, have fun. Yeah, have fun. Kicks so. and giggles. All right, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Monday and a fantastic week. Go become the nurse God created you to be. You guys are the best. Seriously, like, we just, <laughs> you guys are so great. Okay. All right. All right. Talk Take to you guys care, on Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Bam. End stream. End stream. <laughs>